Hi, my name is Kevin Carter. I'm a historical interpreter here at Connor Prairie. The last Saturday of April, we're going to be kicking off our Explore series uh, featuring historic trades. I'm going to be here demonstrating various silversmithing techniques and, and talking about the history of silversmithing as it relates to the Lenape people as well as Connor Prairie. Now I'm here in Lenape Village today where we explore the cultures and environment of Indiana right around the time of statehood. The Lenape people located throughout this region, including right here on this property, in the late 1700s. It was only a few decades later that William Connor opened his trading post where he exchanged such supplies as gunpowder, cloth, whiskey, and rifles with the local peoples for furs and other resources to supply the market demands in the East as well as in Europe. During the height of the fur trade era, between the mid-1700s to around 1820 or 1830, an entire trade silver industry arose. Trade silver was one form of payment used in exchange for furs. The items produced and exchanged included such decorative items as brooches, combs, arm and wristbands. They were often manufactured with sterling or coin silver, but were also made with copper, tin, pewter, and even lead. Later, German silver was introduced, uh, which was made primarily of nickel. Thousands of pounds of trade silver were produced each year during this time by hundreds of silversmiths in what is now the eastern United States, Canada, Great Britain, and France. We know from certain excavation sites that the Lenape people participated in this exchange for trade silver. During our Explore series featuring historic trades, I'll be using modern techniques to make some reproduction pieces of trade silver. I will also be discussing the similarities and differences of these modern methods to those that were used historically. I'll be joined by other trades and craftspeople throughout the grounds who will be demonstrating blacksmithing, iron smelting, woodworking, pottery, textiles, timber framing, and, and other trades and crafts. I invite you to come, to learn, to explore, to have fun at our Explore series featuring historic trades, April 24th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I hope to see you there.